Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently sitting in the rain in my car because I just got done doing some work. You guys may or may not know that I like to do other work besides just bartending and YouTube. So I have like little sad projects and I'm about an hour away from our house. And so I went to Chipotle. I never get to go to Chipotle because it's about an hour away from our house. So I'm super, super freaking excited to be about to eat Chipotle. Anyway, before we get into today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something. You guys know I have a friend named Tina and she's actually one of my bridesmaids. She's one of my really good friends. She used to do and still sometimes does videos on YouTube and she is amazing. She has three kids, she's vegan and she's just a super awesome person. So we were talking last week and she was telling me uh, a little bit about this friend that she has that is trying to adopt a baby. Now, if you guys don't know this, both of my parents are adopted, so adoption is something that is, is definitely like something that resonates with me a little bit. So her friend is trying to adopt a baby from India. And if you guys don't know a whole lot about uh, what life is like in orphanages in India, um, I will leave a link below to a video that can inform you. But I watched this video to learn a little bit more about the situation and it just really hit me hard. The baby that Tina's friend is trying to adopt has Down syndrome and the baby was given up at birth. So this child has never ever felt love and that just like really just bothers me in, in such a deep way because I love my children so much. We have everything that we need and want and more and it just is, it really just, you know, hurts me that there are children out there that don't have that. The thing about this story is that there is somebody that wants to give that to this child and the child's name is Emmy. I want you guys to understand that there is somebody that really loves this child and wants this child to be with her and the only thing standing in the way of that is money. So I don't do this a lot on my platform unless something really resonates with me and this does. So I wanted to share her GoFundMe with you guys. I don't know how to get across to you that this is important. I don't know how just tell you how important this is to me, to Tina, and to this baby, but like, it's the most important thing in this child's life. I wanna share it with you guys, because I have this platform to be able to do just that, and it's important, and it's important to this child, it's important to this mother, and it's just something that really just like hit me hard. I spent $8 today at Starbucks, and that just was like nothing, but, if we can encourage somebody to give five dollars to this cause like or a bunch of people to give five dollars then she'll be even closer to coming home so i just wanted to put this out there if this is a story that touches your heart i urge you to go check it out check out some of the links down below check out the gofundme and you know if if you felt led to give to this situation then please do because it's been something that's on my mind like constantly for the past week and if you can't give please share the story and share the gofundme and you know if you can just five dollars i just want to help you know i want to help this mom get her baby home to her and it's sad to think that the only thing standing in the way of that is money it shouldn't be you know it shouldn't be hopefully you guys will check that out for me because that would mean a lot so so anyway we're gonna start today's vlog welcome back to my channel it's raining outside i'm about to eat some chipotle and i need to charge my camera because it's about to die it's been getting a lot of use today. We are back in business, sort of. I just picked up Callie. She's been with our babysitter for the day while I was out working and doing stuff and things. And being an adult. Today I figured I'd vlog a little bit. I haven't actually vlogged um, that much lately. It's already about like 3.30 though, so you just get to see the second half of our day. The first half wasn't that exciting anyway, besides the fact that I got rained on. Welcome to summertime in Florida. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about my summer goals. Um, I feel like maybe if I say them out loud and put them on the internet, that I might actually hold myself accountable. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what my goals are for the summer. So my first goal this summer is to 
workout. And I feel like since I'm not working as much as I used to, and since I'm staying home more, I totally have time for this. So my goal is really to just, you know, not be lazy. <laughs> because Cadence isn't here during the summer, Tim is gone all the time, and it's just me and Callie, I just feel like I have so much free time. I just feel like I have no reason not to be able to work out at least four to five days a week. I like working out, but I'm also really bad at procrastinating. So a lot of times I'll be like, oh no, not today, you know, but no, that's my goal. Not to make excuses and to go to the freaking gym. So that's what I'm about to do right now. You wanna go to the gym? Yeah. I love you. Yeah. You wanna get out? Yeah. No? Let's get out. Say hi. Say hi, guys. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. I don't wanna wake up. If I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up no, I don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up without you What up? So we're done at the gym now I'm eating chips because they were in my car and I'm freaking starving so I have no idea how long these have been in here But they taste fine did chips even really go bad though? So another one of my goals this summer is to figure out what the heck I'm doing with my life. What? Yeah, I think she wants a chip. Yeah. She even said thank you. Now, what do I want to do with my life is a very, very broad question. What I want to do is like sit on a yacht and drink margaritas all day while also being super skinny and tan and having a lot of money. That's what I want. But what I mean by trying to figure out what I want to do with my life is trying to figure out what I'm doing with myself. Am I a vlogger? Am I, like, do I want to go to school? Do I want to go to school for videography? Do I want to stay at home and be a stay-at-home mom? Do I want to keep working? Do I want to be a bartender? Do I want to work in the service industry? What am I doing with my brand? Is this a brand? Am I, what is this? What am I doing on the internet? What am I trying to accomplish? What am I trying to do for you guys? I'm trying to make you laugh. I'm trying to make you watch me, but like, what am I doing? I've been on YouTube for like seven years and um, I'm just now starting, I feel like, to get bearings on what I want to do. So this summer I'm really going to try to focus on like YouTube, you know, just trying to figure out what, what I'm doing. Like, what do I want to do? I don't want to be a bartender forever, so what do I want to do? It's a loaded question and it's probably going to take me most of the summer to figure out, to be honest. Or like the next five years, I don't know. Either way, it's something that's on my mind a lot lately. Come on, let's go inside. Thank you for carrying my bag for me. Oh, and we're just gonna throw it down. That's my Chipotle, man. Oh, okay, all right, thank you. So another goal that I have this summer is to get everything ready for our wedding. You guys might know that we're getting married in like 60 something days. What? That's not very long, considering how little I have accomplished. I've done a lot of eating in this vlog. The whole wedding thing is a whole nother video that I'm planning on making about, you know, where I'm at in this wedding process. Because having a wedding is a process, y'all. It's a whole shenanigan. It's coming. I'm gonna be somebody's wife by the time the summer's over. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta attend to this tiny human. She just needs a lot right now. She's very needy. Okay, so Callie's in bed. I just tried to FaceTime with Cadence, but she was already in bed. I keep forgetting that I am like in central time and she's in eastern time, is that what it's called? So that kind of sucks. I want to talk to her because she's doing gymnastics camp and I miss her and I'm lonely. Summer is so weird for me. Like it's literally like the most weird time. Ugh, I wanted to hear about gymnastics camp. Anyway, my last goal for summer that I wanted to talk to you guys about is 
I need to figure out how to like chill the F out. I feel like my whole life I have been running around like a crazy person. First of all, I feel like my life started when I had Cadence. Before that, I had no real responsibilities. From the time I had Cadence and from the time she was born, I've literally been working. Like outside my house, like as a server, bartender, restaurant manager, resort manager, something. I have been working 40 to 80 or 90 hours a week. There were some weeks since Cadence has been alive in the last six years that I have worked 90 hours. So for me, staying at home and being like a stay-at-home mom is weird. But because I worked so much, now that I don't work outside the home as much and I'm not like a full-time workforce employee, I I'm just having like an identity crisis, I feel like. And I've talked about this a couple times on my channel, but it's still going on. Like it's still an ongoing issue for me. So I have a hard time just chilling. You know, just being calm and like just not stressing out about things. I'm good. I should be less stressed out. Hey, so it's actually the next morning. I kind of suck at uh, finishing a vlog in one day sometimes. I don't know. But now that I have more time that I can decide what I'm doing with it, I want to work on de-stressing and being like more calm and relaxing and taking time for myself and just doing things that are just for me and not for YouTube and not for work and not for because I have to. I want to do some things that I just want to do like go to the beach or go lay out and like read a book. I feel like for my mental health I need to do like things for myself. I think we all probably need to do that but like I haven't done it in forever so I think that I really need to make a conscious effort to maybe chill the F out and stop being such a ball of stress. That might not happen until after the wedding but <laughs> you know i'm gonna try so those are my goals for the summer and um i want to share them with you guys we're actually getting ready right now since it's the next morning from yesterday's vlog because i freaking suck go to the gym and start our day and be productive and whatever i have a lot of things to do today i know i just talked about taking time for myself and all that but gotta go to the gym gotta make some videos gotta make take some footage gotta go do other things edit stuff Blah, do things. So I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm gonna say today because it's just, I'm gonna end the vlog. Come back and talk to you guys soon about lots of things. Everybody's been asking for an update on my dad that's coming. I've been working on it. It's gonna be like a Father's Day sort of project. Um, and I've been working really hard on it. So I'm excited for you guys to see that video. Should be coming out this weekend for Father's Day. Bye, <laughs> Say see you guys later. Say love you. Love you. All right, we'll see you guys later.